Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I'm a little high today. Let me, not, let me. <laughs> my seat was a little high today. Okay, that's gonna be how this video is gonna go. So if you are new, welcome. You have joined the circus today. <laughs> We're gonna talk about all things in beauty, beauty news. Many of you have responded that you love the beauty news updates that I do over on TikTok and Instagram. If you're not following me over there, check it out right here. This is how you can find me, where I do daily beauty news updates. But they've been coming in so fast and furious, and there's been a lot of new product launches that I thought, I, there's not enough days in the week to get you guys all this information. So I thought going into the weekend, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but let's just go through some of the latest beauty product launches. I'm gonna also share with you a really interesting report that just came out on ranking hair care brands by popularity. I thought that would be interesting for you to see as well. And some other beauty news that you don't wanna miss out on. So if you are ready, I will meet you on the other side of this intro and we will get up to date on all things beauty. All right, you guys, first and foremost, I saw a little article come across my, you know what, hang on, we need something. There, much more official. Isn't, isn't the microphone in front of the person talking like the new Stanley Cup accessory that everyone has to have? It's really not even plugged in. I have it, but I haven't used it yet. So I just feel much more official. Does it, do I look more official? Okay, let's get that out of the way. So let's talk about, first things first, I saw come across my Yahoo news notifications that they are currently filming for the Golden Bachelorette. Now, why do I have this look of sadness? Not because I felt like I missed the casting call because I am very, very happily married. There's no man in the world that I would wanna be with other than my husband. But if you remember from a couple videos ago, I said they should do the Golden Bachelorette on the heels of the Golden Bachelor. And when they do that show, they needed to call me to host the show. Apparently ABC or Disney, the parent company, did not get the memo because they are currently filming that show. I know, I know. But I can always come on as a guest host to help her give out a rose or not give a rose. So I'm still manifesting. Maybe I'll have to be on the second one. I don't know, but I really want to host that show for some reason, and I'm not giving up. That or the Great Carving Pumpkin show that's on the Food Network come the fall time. I think they're filming that right now as well. That usually gets filmed the end of August, early September. But wouldn't that be a great show to host the pumpkin carving contest where every week somebody's eliminated and the contestants go on to have bigger, greater, grander pumpkin carv carvings to stay on the show? I'm all about it. I'd love to do that one as well. All right, so that's not beauty news. That's just Jody news, but it's still interesting, right? Okay, let's get into some interesting beauty news. There's a company called Cosmify and they analyze annual Google searches and year over year search differences and social media points of popular hair care brands stored in the database. So the 2024 Cosmify hair care report has outlined the findings from all of those data points and analysis and they have named the most popular hair care brands so far in 2024, and then the 2024 most popular hair care products. I found this interesting. I use many of these, and so I'm not surprised to see them on the list. The number one most popular hair care brand so far in 2024, based on the criteria that I just named, is Kerastase with over 12 million annual searches, which is an increase of 25% from prior year. That is no surprise to me. The number two brand I had never heard of, it's called Gisu, G-I-S-O-U. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. That has over 3.4 million searches and that is up 117% year over year based on all that criteria, um, which is interesting because I have never heard of this brand, but of course now I wanna Google it and learn more about it. So let's just, let's do that right now. It's, it's G-I... S-O-U. Oh, they sell it at Sephora. I, I've never heard of this brand. Oh, it's a hair oil. Their main product, it looks like, is a hair oil. Ah, uh, honey-infused hair perfume for $44. They have a honey-infused hydrating hair mask. Oh, it's a clean hair brand. I have never heard of this one. I've definitely never tried it. Have you guys, let me know in the comments if you've heard of this brand or tried anything from it. A mini honey-infused hair oil 
is $25 for 0.7 ounces. That's that's a pricey when you compare it to something like a Moroccan oil, but I bet it smells amazing. So interesting. Okay, I've never tried this one. Let me know in the comments if you guys have or not. The number three in this list of most popular hair care brands is K18. Again, big fan. This has over 5.2 million searches on social media and an increase of 78% year over year. I really love their hair mask. I use it about every fourth shampoo, I would say. Absolutely love it. And I do color treat my hair and I am old, <laughs> older, so my hair is more brittle than it used to be. It's a little more dry than it used to be. This is a really good product if you find that you have breakage or damaged hair or dry hair. I think it keeps my hair really super healthy for as much as I do to it. Cause I do heat style it three to four times a week as well. So I put my hair through a lot and I think this K18's made a big difference. Pantene is number four with 2.6 million searches. It's up 9%. GHD is up 4%. I like that hair brand because that's the who makes my blow dryer and my flat iron and my curling iron as well as all GHD products. I really like them because some people don't like this brand because many of their styling products, you can't adjust the heat, but the heat only goes up to 365 on the products that you can't adjust. And I like it for that reason. I don't ever want to have anything higher than 365 degrees on my hair anyway. So for me, it just, it takes out the guesswork and it's just one less decision that I have to make in a day. So that and I find that the products, they last a long time. I've had my GH hair dryer for a long, long time. I love it so much. You guys might remember the story that I was traveling over to Europe a lot for work in my previous job and I didn't want to risk not having a blow dryer over there. And you know, the plugins, if you get the wrong adapter, you can literally watch your heating styling tool melt right in front of your eyes. I have done that. I've seen a curling iron, a T3 curling iron, like heat and overheat and it was done. So anyway, I actually bought the GHD hair dryer while I was in Europe with the Europe adapter so that when I travel, I've got that hair dryer with me. That's how much I love my GHD hair dryer. Number six is Wella Professionals with 3.9 million searches. Schwarzkopf, which is typically a coloring product that a lot of professionals use. That has been searched 3.9 million times. And Dyson comes in with just under a million annual searches. All right, so now let's talk about, those are the most popular hair care brands based on this research. So now let's look at the most popular hair care products because that might be a little bit different and it is. We're gonna go from the bottom up this time. It just gives a little bit more suspense. Number nine is Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This has 550,000 annual searches and it is up 7% year over year. Number eight is Olaplex number three hair perfector. I have not had a good experience with that product. I used it exactly how it said. You guys, if you are interested in that lawsuit and hearing all of the things about it, I did have hair damage from using that and I am not a fan of the Olaplex line at all. I'll link that video right here if you wanna know what the lawsuit was about. The lawsuit has been dismissed, so just know that in all fairness to all sides. And number seven is the Olaplex number six bond smoother. So I don't use any Olaplex products. My experience has just been different. Some people absolutely love their Olaplex and don't wanna be without it. Number six is the Batiste dry shampoo. I used to be a big fan of that dry shampoo. I talked about it here on the channel before. I like the price point of that shampoo. I like the accessibility of that dry shampoo. It's easy to get it's everywhere and it can be cost effective, but it does contain butane. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get past that, that there was butane in it. I was putting it on my hair. Number five is the Dyson Airwrap with over 33 million searches. I have this product and you don't see me talk about it that much on the channel, A, because I think it's really expensive and it's just not available to the majority of people. The other thing I just don't find that I use it a lot because the air wrap is a circle. Air comes out all the way around it. So wherever you're putting it on your hair, whether you use it vertically or horizontally, air is going everywhere. So if your hair is not all one length beautiful, meaning if you have breakage, if you have flyaways, if you have split ends, which I have all of those things, I just found that anything that has air coming out of it in a full 360 way, it makes every 
bit of my hair that is not flat go in every different direction. I leave those sessions when I use that looking like I have very frizzy and unruly hair. So I don't use my air wrap. I know people love it and those that love it, I'm glad you love it. It's a, it's a very innovative tool. Number four is Olaplex. What do I know? Olaplex number seven, bonding oil. This has over 700,000 searches throughout the year. Number three is the Moroccan oil treatment. Number two is the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo. It's up year over year in searches by 236%. More searches in the last year than the previous year, which is interesting. It must have some trending things going on in TikTok perhaps. And then number one, I've talked about this product before. I love this product. It's the Color Wow Dream coat anti-humidity hairspray. It is up 50% in its searches year over year. You use it like every three or four washes, it stays in. And when you add heat to it, you guys, I've talked about this product before. Do I have it in here or is it in my bathroom? It is in my vanity. If you style your hair with a heat styling tool, whether it's a blow dryer, a flat iron, a curling iron, or all of the above, or any one of those things, this dream coat will work for you because it's the heat that helps lock in your hair's style. So whether you want a sleek straight hair or you want to lock in a curl or like if I used it last night and I, I will have curls like this for the next three or four days until I wash it because it helps lock in this curl. If I don't use that, then these would be gone by noon today and it's only eight o'clock in the morning. So it really does help lock in your hair I absolutely love it. I, I swear by this stuff. Um, okay, so that is that. And then other couple of things that they noted in this article, the 2024 most popular hair care influencer based on the criteria that I talked about earlier. The number one is Chris Appleton. I almost said Chris Stapleton because if you like country music like I do, it's just Chris Stapleton is the first Chris that comes out of your mouth, especially when it ends with Alton but it's Chris Appleton, not Chris Stapleton, with 1.9 million annual searches. His search popularity has grown by 123% year over year. I also thought it was interesting to note, you guys, that um, hashtag rosemary oil has over 500 million views on TikTok. That's crazy. But we saw that last week when we talked about the most popular products sold on Amazon so far this year, that rosemary oil. And if you saw that video, remember I told you I had it somewhere, but I couldn't find it. I found it. I did have it. I knew I bought it because it said in, on my Amazon order that I purchased it, but I could not find it. And clearly I have not used it. Why? It's been searched over 500 million times. I need to use it. You know why I haven't used it? Because when is it a good time to put oil on your scalp? Do you do it at the end of the day when you know you're gonna wash that night? Do you do it before you go to bed and then wash your hair in the morning, but then I have oil all over my pillow? I think that's why I haven't used it yet because I'm just not really sure when I want to have oil on my head, but I gotta get over it. One more hair thing and then we'll move on to beauty products. The 2024 most popular celebrity hairstyles. This one, I'm not surprised, but I'm kind of surprised because... Can you hear that? My dog is out there growling. It's really windy today and the trees are moving a lot. So I don't know if that's what she's seeing. If she barks, we'll have to pause the video and go see what it is. But I think it's just the windy trees. The number one most popular celebrity hairstyle based on number of searches. If you're my age bracket, this will not surprise you. Jennifer Aniston as number one. Haley Bieber's number two, Selena Gomez number three, Catherine Prince of Wales four, Billie Eilish is five. Margot Robbie from Barbies number six. All right, you guys, let's transition and make our way over to some beauty headlines, and then we'll finish up with some of the latest launches in beauty products. Sound good? All right, I say that like I can hear you say, yes, Joey, that sounds awesome. But in my head, I hear you guys going, yeah, let's do that. I don't know how you're watching me today, if I'm on your phone or if I'm on your TV or if I'm on your iPad while you're getting ready, wherever it is, thank you for taking me along. I love being part of your guys' day. Now let's talk about brands that are dipping their toe in the investor pool to see if perhaps they would like to sell their brand. It does seem to be a path to great riches more times than not. If you have a successful beauty brand, you grow it from its inception and then a larger conglomerate beauty organization like L'Oreal, Estee Lauder, Cody, Shiseido comes and purchases your 
cosmetic company. We've heard about this one. I did a beauty news update on this one before. Selena Gomez is a rare beauty. It's a three-year-old company and they have reportedly hired Goldman Sachs. It's reported that they are looking at companies that are interested in either fully acquiring the brand or just investing in rare beauty. In February of 2024, rare beauty had passed the $400 million mark for sales in the previous 12 months. So in a 12 month time frame from February of 23 to February of 2024, Rare Beauty has sold over $400 million worth of products. This brand is sold exclusively at Sephora, by the way. I'm not surprised that this brand sells as much as it does. Remember she launched into skincare, I think that was in 2024. I absolutely love her liquid blush. In fact, I was at Sephora yesterday and had to restrain myself from buying every color of liquid blush that she offers because they are all stunning. They just weren't different enough for me to justify having all of them because A, who needs six or seven different <laughs> blush colors? Well, I do, but it just, they weren't that different and some of them were a little too warm for me, but the formula is absolutely outstanding. I highly recommend if you're looking for a good liquid blush, Rare Beauties are amazing. It's also being reported that the Rare Beauty brand, this is separate than Rare Beauty, that is a different company, but Rare Beauty brand is the company that owns Patchology. And it's reported that they have hired investment bank DC Advisors to look for potential buyers for Patchology. Patchology was founded back in 2014. Here's another interesting brand that is looking possibly for potential buyer and that is Merit Beauty. According to an article in Cosmetic Business, the beauty brand Merit Beauty, which was founded by Catherine Power, is said to be preparing to tap advisors to run a sales process. Interesting facts about Merit Beauty, it was founded in 2021, so just three years ago, and has generated over a hundred million dollars in sales just in 2023 alone. You know, we as consumers, we can't control when a brand is up for sale or sales or gets an acquisition or gets investors. Our only hope, right, is that it improves the quality of the product, that it doesn't diminish in anything, only improves. And in some cases, that's absolutely been the case where you've seen a brand get acquired and the quality, the ingredients, the formulations, the color pigmentations, all stay what you loved or continue to get better. I think Bobbi Brown is a great example of that, the Bobbi Brown line. I think Charlotte Tilbury is another great example of that. There are other examples, which we can all probably think of some, I won't discourage any brands here, but there are other brands that when they have been purchased by a larger company, it becomes a margin game. It becomes a game of profit and loss. Where can you save some money? And so for these brands, these are all really good brands, especially Rare Beauty, Merit. I would love to see these, if anything, improve, but not, not go backwards. What do you guys think? If you have a brand that has been purchased by a larger company that you've said this has been the best thing for them, let me know in the comments down below. All right, so let's talk about a few new beauty products that are on the market. We're starting off, this is not a hair care video, but we are starting off with a, another hair care line. Milkshake has expanded its hair styling collection with three new aerosol products a hairspray, an extra strong hold hairspray, and a volumizing mousse. Ooh, look at how cool this packaging is. I love it. The ingredient is said to hydrate the hair while also having an anti-frizz and anti-static benefits. Well, wouldn't that be great? Because we have all had those days where that static is like, it's, it's, another, it's another dimension. And with knitted hat season right around the corner, static is going to be, once again, front and center, I know, in my mind. There's nothing worse than going into a restaurant to meet friends for lunch and you go to pull off that hat. Are you guys with me on this? And you just have hair out to here and you're just trying to get it all together. Yeah. So anti-static spray would be great. Naughty has come out with a hot pink one microfiber towel. It is designed to reduce frizz and breakage. The microfiber material is said to be highly absorbent, helping reduce drying time. I use a microfiber towel for my hair as well. I don't necessarily have to have a hot pink one, but if it's the same price point than the others, then why not, I'll try it. I love the way it pulls the water from my hair so that when I go to dry my hair, I don't feel like I'm starting from sopping wet hair. I mean, of course I've wrung it out and all that, but I do feel like it's just healthier on my hair. Between using a microfiber towel and a silk pillowcase and then that K18 and some of my styling products, I feel like 
that is the combination of things that helps keep our hair healthy as we age versus just having one or two styling products or a deep conditioning mask, for example, that does the thing to your hair. Like that K18 mask is phenomenal, but I don't think it would work as well if I just did that. It's just like our skincare. And I'm realizing the older I get, the more steps there is to everything. And maybe it's the older we get, or is it just the more we're learning? Maybe it's just that the more we're learning, the next thing that we're gonna start realizing that we need to really layer in the process is body care. And I, I've seen this in as much research as I do in this industry, the amount of innovation from formulations that is coming through body care and sort of that from that wellness overlay or that wellness umbrella is body care, body care, everything, and how important it is that we take care of our body with the same level of detail and articulation and accuracy and precision and consistency that we do with our face skin and now with our hair. Uh, body care. I think we're going to continue to see more and more things come in that space. In fact, while we are talking about body care space, Murad sent this to me. I'm on I'm on two PR lists. Murad is one of them. Thank you very much, Murad. I absolutely love your products. Um, they have the clear skin for every body. This is what they sent, and inside of it, this is really cool. Take a look at that. It comes with these retexturizing body pads, which I haven't opened yet. Uh, and it has 2% salicylic acid for exfoliating and glycolic acid and patent amino acid technology. And then this one is their purifying body spray. This one has 0.5% salicylic acid and glycolic acid and then blue lotus extract, which is said to soothe and reduce the appearance of acne related redness. It says that you use this one to three times a day, mist over hard to reach areas of the body. <laughs> That's a funny visual. I need to grow up. So thank you Murad for that. All right, so let's get into the next product that you're gonna wanna know about. I was excited about this one because I reviewed that Peter Thomas Roth under eye firming, didn't do so well, but they do have two new products coming out. This is the, that they're adding to the even smoother line, which is the Even Smoother Instant Reveal Facial Peel for $35. And it is said to be an intensive at-home chemical peel saturated with 30% glycolic acid solution to reveal brighter, smoother, and even clearer skin. And the Even Smoother Microdermabrasion Exfoliating Pore Purifier for $48 says to deliver triple action exfoliation to decongest the skin help reduce clogged pores and refine uneven texture. Peter Thomas Roth does have some very nice products. That under eye smoother just was not a product that worked for me at all. Let me know if you guys have tried it and what you think of it. This is a cute collaboration I thought would be great with, especially with the holidays coming up or if you've got somebody that has a birthday coming up. Tweezer Man is doing a collaboration with Disney. It's their second collaboration with Disney and this one is the Disney Princess Collection. It's an assortment of products featuring 12 Disney princess characters from Moana to Rapunzel. The tweezers are gonna sell for $24 and they also have the Happily Ever After Classic Curler, which is selling for $18 and the Happily Ever After Combo Clipper set for $12. They'll also have the Forever Friends Nail File set for $12.50, which will include companions to the Disney princesses like Sebastian and Flounder from The Little Mermaid and Cinderella's Mouse Friends. Now, why We can name Snap, Crackle, and Pop from Rice Krispie Treats, and we know all of Santa's reindeer, but do you know the name of Cinderella's Mouse Friends? I didn't. I had to cheat because my little article told me. It's Bert, Mert, and Luke. A little bit of trivia today for you to carry on into your weekend with. You're welcome. This was in one of my beauty news updates. The Naked Nude Palette is reinvented itself. It is back available. It is the original Naked Eyeshadow Palette selling for $59. And it is only back for a limited time. This palette first launched in 2010 and went on to sell over 30 million palettes. In fact, it was reported that at one time, one of these palettes was sold every six seconds. Can you imagine? This palette was then discontinued in August of 2018, but now it's back. All 12 shades are back, but limited time only if you want it. And for those of you that are interested in fragrance, Ariana Grande has just added four new fragrances to her collection. Under the umbrella, the Love Notes collection, which offers exclusive scents in different regions of the world. 
Pink Woods is in North America. Vanilla Suede is in a UK exclusive. Angel Kisses is available in Europe. And Pressed Petals is available exclusively in Australia. Well, we had a lot to cover today, you guys. This was really fun. I love this podcast style of a video. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you like this kind of a video? I could go on for literally hours on new product launches that are coming out all the time. It's so fun just to know. It's not that we want to shop and buy it all, but it's nice to know what's available. Then you just don't get FOMO or fear of missing out. That does it for me today, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend or whatever is coming up in front of you, depending on when you watch this video. I'm posting it on a Friday and hoping you enjoy it over the weekend. I will see you guys in just a couple days. Thanks for watching. Bye.